Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the family, guys. So grab your tea, grab your tree, grab your drink, do whatever you need to do to get comfortable because Tasha's gonna spill the tea straight. No chaser, no makeup, it is what it is, guys. This is my soul family, so I don't have to get dolled up. And I've been in like full glam for the last four days, so it is what it is. I love yous, thank yous. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified when I post new content, okay? And to all my A1 day ones, I fucking love you. And to all my clients, you know I adore the shit out of you. So if yous want a personal reading, don't hesitate to contact me. That's clarification, guys. There's clearly somebody out there who wants a personal reading. So hit me up on my email, guys. Don't be shy. I love yous. You can hit me up on my Facebook. Now, I got my five-year chip today. And oh my God, the tears of joy. <sighs> I'm telling you. So you know how it is, tears of joy? is when it comes down your right eye. It's the tears of pain is um, the left just in case somebody wants to know okay but yes the tears of joy oh my god I had so many old timers coming to celebrate me tonight oh it was so nice because at the beginning of my um sobriety I was really tore up like really really tore up and I had a hard time uh a really really hard time I didn't have emotional stability and I didn't have emotional um like a safety net or anybody to be there for me and the old timers were there and it was so nice that they were there tonight to celebrate me and these these people don't come to my meetings like in town but they came just for me and it, it just it made me realize that even though I don't have people in my face I still fucking have people there's still good people out there so let's see what's going on I just wanted to put that out there that you know no matter what you're going through there is hope my sponsor um, today told me, Tasha, you are a fucking miracle. So believe in miracles. That's why I believe in miracles. So I, <laughs> I didn't say much when my speech or nothing. I said one thing was the reason why I'm sober is because so many people told me I couldn't. And because I'm a rebellious, the reason why I did, I did drugs was <laughs> because I couldn't. I wasn't allowed or, you know, so people told me I couldn't and I did. And now those people who saved my life gave me the opportunity to save a lot of other people's. So thank you guys for listening to that little little introduction of myself and what ha went on today. But let's see what's going on, okay, guys? Remember, no matter what you have went through, there's an, always an opportunity to change. And no matter how much work it takes, it's about finding healthy coping mechanisms through the bullshit. Because it's life. We're going to go through ups and downs. Believe me, the last five years has been the most painful because I have to feel. I have to feel it. I don't have a, a coping mechanism to go and drown out these emotions. I need to feel it. So it's very important to keep the people around you who are going to be able to listen to you and, and tell your story. The devil. Now, the devil could be a good thing and it could be a bad thing. Okay? Too much of anything is a bad motherfucking thing, right? That's the problem. Too many people are in too much of something. So we need to find a balance. The devil wants to pop out with the seven of wands. Now, somebody is not protecting themselves or not protected because of this environment. And this is why we have to see the bigger picture. That even these karmic, we were a karmic before, guys, so we can't even judge nobody. Spirit guides, ancestors, oracles of the highest white light. I call you into my beautiful space and ask for a clear, precise channel message for my collective and protection while I'm channeling this message from any ex external energies trying to interfere with the reading or with our, any of our energies. I put protection on all my viewers, all my clients, and everybody who sends me love. And anything other than that, I send to the ethers and let my ancestors take care of it. Please, spirit guides, ancestors, and oracles, close any door other than the highest white light now. And thank you guys, okay? Because seriously, there's a lot of people in that devil energy and they ain't got no fucking protection. So we have to understand that we were in that situation before. Okay, there is another way, an easier, softer way. Chariot, exactly. You're going forwards. 
with a lot of adversities in your way, but you're still managing. Spirit guides, what's going on here? It's the eight of wands, uh, eight of swords. See what I mean? You're literally overcoming. You're, you got out of this codependency, this toxic cycle or, you know, of even the neediness, you know, wanting to be seen, wanting to be heard, wanting to be validated. It's not very important at the end of the day. What's important is speaking your truth. Whether people like it or not, it's irrelevant because when you speak your truth, you get out of this poverty, mental entrapment, prison of the mind. So we have to, you know, show others that we are human and we make mistakes. Even when we're sober, we have to go inwards and let go of the repressed emotions. We have to feel, guys, sometimes it hurts, but it is what it is because... If we don't, then we're just prolonging something and we're drowning more and more. And it's very hard to get out of that situation. And I didn't believe in myself. I honestly didn't believe that I could make it to five years. And when Harry um, gave me my chip tonight, he mentioned, Tasha, remember when I said when you get to five years? And this man, oh my God, my heart. <laughs> This man can get me the 90 and 90 three times with me because I kept fucking slipping. I didn't believe in myself and I kept people around me who didn't believe in me either. And now I have, I can, through the trials and tribulations, I kept the right people around me, the ones who encouraged me on a daily. And he said that, Tasha, remember? All those years that we went through this process before you even got your first year chip. And I'm like, yeah, because I was in the program like 10 years before I even fucking got my first year. Like I was really a big time slipper. Like I didn't have good environment and I definitely didn't have anybody who supported me. And this is what people need to understand, that there is a lot of people out there willing to put their neck out, to take you places, to pick up the phone when you call them. You know, this is why I am who I am, because of these beautiful people who have helped me pave the way for me when I did not believe in myself. And now look at how many people believe in me, because I chose to believe in myself when nobody else did. Because I knew that there was people out there who had went to the same experiences as me. So I was okay. I knew I could pick up the phone anytime I needed. And this is a very important to get that Ten of Cups. The happiness, the fulfillment, the joy. Understanding that, yes, we did. We lost out on a lot. A lot of love, a lot of time, a lot of energy. But the thing is, is we grew a lot. We learned a lot. So those, those choices, those experiences were only lessons. We never really lost anything because everything was for a reason. That's the magician. You manifest through the experiences of the love. Get out of the mental entrapment of what everybody else is doing and give yourself the love. Now I know that even being alone, I'm never alone. And it was my understanding that being sober, I don't have to be scared of myself, you know? As a child, it was beaten out of me to be who I am. Like, I shouldn't tell people what, what I see or, you know, to help people. Like, I was really put down a lot. So, of course, I didn't believe in myself to be uh, straight and solid. Like, how the fuck am I going to do that after years and years of years of being so crooked? But it, it, it was possible. I made it possible. He's a pentacle, see? Got it right out the motherfucking mud. And I mean, I came from the mud. And that's where the tears of joy come in. Because I did. I missed out on so much. I could have accomplished so much with my life because of my mind. But I chose to use my mind in a dark way. And now I'm able to show people who are in the dark that there is another way. I am that walking miracle. And my heart is so fucking full every single day. I am so grateful for the traumas and tribulations. Because I learned to manifest through the heart. Get out of the mental entrapment, prison of the mind, purgatory, understanding that even when I have nothing, I still have everything. Because I have me. And you guys are really understanding that. Even when you have nothing, you have you. And that says a lot more than a lot of other people. And remember that, okay? 
And that's where judgment is in reverse. A lot of people are judging you, but you let go of that with the five of cups. You're not caring about what other people think. You just keep doing what you need to do every single day because it's your life. This is your canvas. Whatever fucking picture you want to paint, you can do this. Guys, like I said at the beginning, the only reason why I'm sober is because everybody told me I couldn't and fuck you, I can. Bottom of the deck, four of wands. You see what I mean? A lot of people don't want you to be happy, want you to be in a mess or whatever, but it's okay to be a mess. That's the problem. People are insecure because you're authentic. They don't want you to be happy, have stability because of something internally with them. You still have that happiness. And these people can judge you falsely all they want. They could manipulate all they want. But that's a major death in the tower, guys. It is what it is. You transform. You put this to death. And you only keep the people around that who value you. And it makes a difference. It fucking makes a difference. Especially when it comes to helping other people. Now, this Queen of Wands, we're going to dig in, okay? There's a Queen of Wands in reverse who is trying to do something to coerce somebody to not come towards you. Or to make sure that you don't have no celebrations, okay? But this bitch doesn't realize that you are an alchemist. Now, it could be a male, but look what the fuck is in my hand. This motherfucker don't fucking quit. I'm telling you, I tried to shuffle. I didn't. I put this bitch back. I did not want this fucker to come out. But look, the queen of wands comes out with the devil. Right underneath the magician, guys. Somebody is very insecure and wants to keep you binded. It could be a... a Leo, Aries, Sag, masculine, feminine, it doesn't matter. It's just an energy, guys. Somebody is a fucking ho, ho, ho. And they're in the chariot in reverse. They're mad that you're moving forward. And you're out of a mental entrapment, three of pentacles, and you don't want to work with them? Let's see what's going on here, guys. I'm going to dig in. You know me. I'm going to spill the tea, all right? So somebody is, let's say, okay, so this is what I'm seeing in my head, okay? Spirit's showing me this. It's like somebody's at their like desk or computer or under TV or wherever, whatever, whatever social media platform that you're on, and they're giving you like, and it's not even from their real account. This is from their fake account. <laughs> See how fucking, yeah. It, it, it's like so ass backwards, I'm telling you. People act so fucking gangster, but they do it behind your back. So now, is that even gangster? Fuck no. The, the real ones do it right in your face so you know it's them. And that's what intimidates people. Yeah. Because you are wish fulfillment, guys. <laughs> You're getting wish fulfillment. I don't know. Something that you've been sitting on, waiting on, is coming in. And it's... it. it People can't stop this. Whatever you have going on, it's got you out of a mental entrapment. You're not waiting... For somebody, ten of pen, uh, ten of cups. You have this happiness within yourself. This is coming in, and people could act like they're gonna try to fucking stop it all they want. But look at my cards; they're going all over the place, and all you got is that three of cups coming out in the upright. Somebody sees you have a lot of options with the seven of cups. That they don't want you to work. There's somebody copying you with that eight of pentacles in reverse. It's the three of cups. So all they pe people see is you celebrating constantly, like getting it right out the motherfucking mud. Now you, I'm telling you, somebody wants to come in with a message, something about uh, a brand new opportunity, something small, two of swords in reverse, one more spirit guides, and the star in reverse. Okay, somebody's out of a mental entrapment because of a lack of healing. Okay, so somebody wants to come in with some kind of little offer. But you have already let go of these third parties. You're celebrating. You know better because you know somebody is not healing something. They might be out of disillusion, but it's like they feel like this opportunity has slipped out of their hands. So what it feels like to me is an opportunist. Take it as it resonates. It does not have to be, guys. It could be somebody from your family, two of wands. Somebody had a choice. Now you have a choice. You have the world in your hands. Now in this... Um, uh, modern witch tarot she's got the um, cell phone in her hand so like i said somebody's on social media just watching and they knew exactly what was going on so two of wands justice they see that you're getting justice that you really did heal somebody feels like they missed out an opportunity i feel a card on my floor yeah look they feel crushed this is the situation uh oracle deck somebody's sad feels broken and feeling alone because they're not part of your crew 
not part of your life. You are the star. You They missed out. And you continuously keep getting shit right out the mud. Like, people will judge you falsely, but justice comes in every time. King of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and King of Wands all in reverse. I yaw, man. I'm telling you, somebody really judged you. And it was this King and Queen of Wands in reverse. This uh, polygamous couple or this dirty couple or it could be just one person. But there's a King of Pentacles here in reverse as well. So these people will do anything. And I mean anything for money, including sleep around because that Knight of Wands is in reverse too. Somebody's burning it on fire. See, they didn't want to do their inner healing, wanted to judge you. And now they're upset because you got the Ten of Cups in the upright and they can't heal. Like there's no healing there. The death is, whoo, it's not good. It's not fucking good. What's the Ten of Cups? Look, it's the... The Queen of Cups. You don't fuck over a Queen of Cups because they're intuitive, they're loving, they're kind. My beautiful collective is the Queen of fucking Cups. And this is why you got the Ten of Cups, guys. It is what it is. Your energy never lies. People could say whatever the fuck they want, but all they're doing is, look, I'm telling you, there's a war against you, a Queen of Wands and a Queen of Cups in the uh, upright. That Queen of Wands is really trying to get your Ten of Cups, but they can't. There's a fucking death. And I mean, this is major karma on the fucking board. Somebody's fucking goon squads are after some. Like I said at the beginning, right? You let all that shit into the ethers. Now, fuck your fucking spirit guides are really putting a number on somebody. So there could be fucking two queen of wands, a king of pentacles, and a king of wands. There's four people on my board in reverse against you trying to stop this happiness from happening, but you're still mastering and putting them to death. Eight of pentacles in reverse, lovers in reverse. Yeah, they're mad because you chose not to work with them, invest in them, or they're mad because they didn't invest in you. Take it as it resonates. But there's a lovers in reverse. These people are... You, you said no to this, first of all. And this is why they clearly are all grouping up together in this devil fucking energy because they can't go anywhere. Like, I'm serious. That's why they're trying to send... They're trying to send magic or they manipulated, they gang stalked, they abused you in some kind of way to make you look like maybe you were this queen of wands, you know, promiscuous and giving it up and uh, all this stuff. But people are seeing that you are the queen of cups. You are authentic and you really do use your intuition to help people not to abuse your power. See? devil in the motherfucking reverse you see how that fucking works what's the time 1743 guys i don't know if that resonates but check it out okay the devil in reverse you have overcame this look with the ten of swords all this betrayal all this abandonment all this rock bottom feeling you have transmuted that shit into light so all this energy that they're sending you're too fucking powerful they can't stop you do, 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 do. do your little happy dance I'm telling you, you are who you are. They can't fucking put a light to you even on your worst days, guys. And you have to remember that. So keep fighting. When they tell you you can't, show them you can. Because there is a way, an easier, softer way. And it's not about, you know, going and, and reading a book and, and, and putting, it's actually doing it every single day. Finding ways to live a healthier life and not hate be judgmental. This person doesn't have to be a whore, guys. It's just a bitty betty, a gossip queen, a negative Nancy kind of energy, guys. And clearly they're burdened by addiction, sex, lust, drugs, rock and roll, fucking gossip. Like I said, whatever this is, they just hate to see other people happy. And you have healed from this. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, the, the world in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, I'm telling you. These, this group, this family, this corporation, even this mindset that people tend to hold on to. There is another way, guys. And I'm fucking telling you, the Five of Wands in reverse is at the heart of the deck. And at the bottom of the deck, it's the Four of Wands. Now, these people tried to hold on to you for a very, very long time. But they ain't got shit. They didn't want you to have shit. So what they wanted to do was kind of take your energy, you know, feed on that, try to build on that, you know. And now they're, they're not balanced. You don't want to work with them. Not at all. And they're crushed. They're broken. They're feeling alone because they weren't there for you when you needed them. And you were always there for them when they needed you. And that's the motherfucking difference. The heart. And so you only keep people of soul around you guys. And somebody doesn't have no motherfucking soul. They can't get towards you because you're a motherfucking unicorn. 
You ain't like anybody else. You're a fucking mermaid, yo. They don't make you like they used to. No, they don't make them like they used to kind of energy. Four of pentacles, that's why they can't hold on to you. It's in reverse. They tried, but they can't because you have already overcame those demons. They can't attach anything to you if you're not doing the same shit they're doing. It is what it is. Heart of the deck is the page of wands. I'm telling you, these people have no drive, no inspiration, no spunk for life because they can't work with you or they can't do work on you. I'm telling you, see, that devil had no protection with the seven of wands in reverse, correct? Look, you got the seven of wands in the upright. You got the fucking protection and that's what's eating them alive. You got a reunion of the souls, a reunion of a partnership, some kind of soul ties, guys. It doesn't have to be somebody that you knew or know. It could be somebody who's coming in that makes you feel beautiful, okay? And also remember that just because somebody was with somebody for 10, 15 years and they did them dirty does not mean that they're going to go towards somebody and do them dirty, okay? So remember that and wish people well and hope that they... They find the right people for them so that they're happy because everybody deserves happiness. And that way we're not fucking continuously drowning in our own despair. And we can feel our feelings because we change for people who are worth it. That's it. That's all. You can't make anybody change nothing or nothing. But you do change for people who are worth it. Okay? The divine feminine. Ooh, somebody is sad. Because you are the divine feminine, guys. Your fucking third eye is woke. Like I'm telling you, woke and you see through all the illusions, the delusions, the confusion of what was going on. And somebody is really upset that they can't heal with you or they can't heal. Your guards are up so high because you don't want to play the same fucking cycles. You aren't doing this. Friends, family, acquaintances, it's irrelevant. You read the energy, you know what it is, and you are not on survival mode. You do not have to protect yourself 24-7 anymore. You aren't doing that. Nope. All you got to do is speak your truth and the right people will eliminate themselves. Why? Because your light irritates their demons. So keep doing you. I'm telling you, you're doing everything right. And it's because you had a transcendence. You balanced out that masculine and feminine and then it broke all the illusions. You ain't the same fucking person. Not at all. You healed those inner childhood wounds, the deep seated wounds remember the drugs and alcohol are only just a, a coping mechanism okay so once those are gone we really need to heal and a lot of people are sober sober and they probably never drank or never touched drugs but the thing is is they're still broken they're still um ble bleeding on other people they still need a lot of work because they won't do the inner childhood healing so there's no discrimination here guys it's, i'm just saying it's the soul that needs healing you know it's the soul that needs like pretty hurts okay i'm gonna tell you this right off the bat because i hear this beyonce song in my head but pretty hurts okay and somebody is realizing that since a child you had to protect yourself because of your looks and a lot of people have treated you said you were a whore a prostitute all this stuff but never seen your true heart and all the stuff that they said was never even the truth that's why you were able to take the fucking lead you are the GOAT, the greatest of all times. And a lot of people realize that that's why you get the downloads, to be able to help a lot of people and do the reflecting. Somebody is reflecting and now realizes why they lost you. Look, see, that keeps slipping out my motherfucking hand. It's like that star, that star just slipped out of somebody's fucking hand and they... It's like they didn't value you when you were around. And now that you're not around, they feel like they're missed up on a big opportunity because of money and sex and, and a group. Like, and, and all this group is not happy. They're not getting no fortunes or at least they're emotionally or spiritually bankrupt, you know. And these people lost out on a real soul, a good soul. And they're reflecting, guys. Look, and it's all because of the loss that somebody had felt from their childhood. The hidden rem emotions, repressed feelings that they chose not to talk about. And now they see why you're sitting in that divine feminine energy because you decided to have a reunion within self. You are whole. You don't need another person to make you complete. You are whole. And it's just about choices. Some people just choose not to see the the, the truth and then they feel cursed 
where they feel like they're, uh, you know, possessed or haunted. And that's not true, guys. We're just haunted by our choices. We are the devil in, the, in our own lives, guys. Remember that. So at the end of the day, the heart of the deck is closed off, guarded, and restricted. This is why a lot of people feel like you're closed off, guarded, or restricted is because so many people are staying in their south node, clinging to the comfort zones of the past. And they're also clinging to the comfort zones of who you were from the past. And it is what it is. It's because you don't, people don't see you. They can make up anything about you. But keep pushing forward because the people who know you, know you and they support you. Oh, someone's about to pop up. A spontaneous, unexpected surprise, yo. Oh, it was so surprising today. It was so nice. You know, there's some people that I wish I could see to, you know, make my men's like twin flame energy. Thankful. Oh, God. I don't know. This is pop up twin flame energy. Thankful. Yo, as I said, there were some people that I wish I could see. The twin flame mirror energy comes in, right? So it's time to thank yourself for being able to persevere. Somebody's coming in to thank you. Somebody who's single, current status available. Make sure of that. Because <laughs> a lot of people lost out on you. You got somebody who's, uh, let's say, dapper. <laughs> you know, they're very put together, okay? So, and they've been watching you for a little while. This could be a real twin flame. Like I said at the beginning, you know, like, you're going to feel like home with this person. It's going to be easy, and it's going to stand on structure, foundation, stability, guys. So, you know, you're going to be challenged and motivated to be better. You have to have faith in yourself, okay? And this person's going to have faith in themselves so that this way it's a team. Nobody is, you know, taking too much of the emotional slack, you know, and, and it, it's able to build on that. So it's it's about... A strong foundation and then being able to build on that. Learning and growing together. Learning compromise. And somebody is single and ready to do that. Fucking plugged. Somebody's tuned the fuck into you. A lot of people are. Part of the deck. But you're still healing your childhood issues. You ain't paying attention to them. You're chilling. Drinking your water. Minding your motherfucking business. Or the business that pays you. Take it as it resonates. <laughs> or... You're trying to quench your thirst. That's the two paradigms, okay? So you're either healing or you're fucking, you're just wanting more and more and more and you're not able to quench your thirst, okay? A lot of instability, a lot of, uh, a lot of cold-hearted energies of how can you help me? What can I, what can you do for me? How can I manipulate you so that you can give me what I want instead of going out and getting at my motherfucking self? This is what's going on here, guys. And somebody is realizing that. It's no more of this. Yeah. Somebody's going through legal issues for fucking, you know, jumping up on your shit or, you know, there is a lot of gang stalking here. And people don't realize that gang stalking, anything that's done on internet, there is proof of it. And somebody is not realizing this. You can fucking just... Like, check the IP address and fucking everybody's fucking busted. Yeah. Somebody, I am absolutely in love with you. Holy fuck. Somebody loves you guys. And this new person that single's coming in will do anything for you because you are going to be their everything. That's that 10 of cups, guys. It's not about the motherfucking money. You could have nothing and start with just a good foundation, heart, stability, authenticity, loyalty, compassion compromise these things are so fucking important but they're so expensive two people are in uh, this devil energy the devil is internally guys it's because we refuse to do the healing it is what it is we can white knuckle it all we want but if you don't do the healing well then inevitably we're gonna go backwards into the same cycles and somebody sees you did the fucking work and bringing justice in you are your everything and this person is their everything and together you are gonna be even more and that's the fucking problem and this is why so many people have tried to stop you because they know the potential that you are coming fuck sex with you this sex is gonna be off the chain guys i'm telling you and somebody fucking doppelganged you like somebody really thought that they were going into this um i don't know how to explain this with that queen of wands there it's like somebody is just they are over sexual 
Okay, so when you have this person coming in, you know you're a sacred sexual. So somebody's gonna have to get into your mind first. <sighs> somebody does want to pledge to you. I'm not lying, okay? But somebody thought that you were over sexual, and that's why they chose another lover and didn't want to work with you. Now somebody is seeing that these people had lied on you. They're reflecting, and now they know why they lost you. Somebody's you're telling them maybe next lifetime. Because you got something coming in. Somebody's going through major legal issues in the background. Might be getting a divorce. I don't know. Something, guys. But I'm telling you, people only change for the people that they want. And somebody is really fucking sorry. Really, really fucking sorry for what they chose to do. I don't know. Spirit guides, one more. Yeah, it says you are wrong. Think before you act. They're sorry. They were wrong and they should have thought before they acted. But they were impulsive and then now they know they can't hold on to you. Somebody is really fucked up. This family, this group, this corporation, they're going through major issues in the background because of the illusions. And you are the divine feminine. So now they're feeling broke, alone, and sad because you have, all sh you have shown every single one of their slips. And there was somebody else the whole fucking time. There was a third party the whole fucking time. There was this group gang stalking you the whole fucking time. And you still managed to fucking persevere when they said you couldn't. You fucking did. And that's the Ace of Cups, guys. You had to love, self-love. And self-love just annihilated all these motherfuckers who don't even have it. You had enough to say, yes, I deserve more. And I'm going to celebrate everybody who in life, because I've learned through trial and error that this, there's plenty of sun for everybody. Somebody needed more time. Maybe you needed more time to really assess the situation to see who was good for you. And clearly you had so many distorted energies around you. I can only speak from experience. This is why it's been so hard for me to stay sober. And this is why I stay alone is because I don't really have that support. And too many people rather, you know, drown themselves instead of just, you know, finding fun things to do. Like I have so much fun and I can party without actually partying. And it makes me feel good. I wake up in the morning and people were really wrong about you, really fucking wrong about you. You took the time to heal. And it was about strength or ego. You chose. Do you want to still live in that ego mind, the monkey mind of you're not good enough? Or do you want to take the time after others have taken the time in you to have the strength? Sometimes we need to reach out. Sometimes we need motivation from people around us because we can't be the motivation for ourselves. This is why I do what I do. So you guys know that you're not alone and you can always reach out to me because I do love you. You are my soul tribe. That's why I don't have to wear makeup. I went to the meeting. Don't have to wear makeup because it's my family. They don't fucking judge me because I'm not wearing makeup. You guys don't judge me because I'm not wearing makeup. I feel the same way. And somebody feels the same way about you. Two of cups. They love your strength. They know what you went through. And that eight with the strength is what you put out. You get back, guys. Somebody's coming in to bring you your flowers. A lot of people were wrong about you. But it's irrelevant because you knew who you were. And somebody, I think so, yes. You knew exactly who you were. And you continuously pushed through. And I have so much desire for you. Somebody has so much desire for you. They might have blocked you, ghosted you, or cut you off, or you had to cut off a lot of motherfucking people in order to see yourself the same way other people see in you. Take it as it resonates, guys. People may just, it's, you know, people are jealous not even about what you have. It's about how people love you or how you can conquer these things and, you know, all this magic, this manipulation, and still be able to persevere every single day, still being grateful every single day. That's that self-love, guys. You have put yourself through these experiences. You learned that everybody, there is enough for everybody so you can get yourself out of the situation. There is another way, but we have to protect ourselves from people who don't want to see us for who we are, who don't want to work with us, who don't value us when we do put in the work, okay? Like, believe me, I did the NA program for fucking two and a half years straight every single fucking Tuesday. And I never, I, I, I like, I had to stop doing it. Because sometimes when we give and we give and we give and we're not valued, we get resentful. So we have to learn to say no. 
And that's why a lot of people lose out on you because you learn to say, no, you can read them. You know when people are white knuckling it. You know when people are projecting and bleeding on others. And then they feel lost because they have to go inwards and reflect. But this is exactly what you are put on this earth to do, to trigger people, to heal. Because without pushing people, motivating them and challenging them, they can't heal. They're going to stay in the same situation. So you want people to branch out, to think outside the box and not to conform to what everybody else is doing because everybody else is in a fucking delusion. And this is exactly what somebody is realizing. This is why a lot of people are tapped into you. It's 14 reduced down to a five. I'm, I'm telling you guys, you are the fucking change. You are a walking miracle. You can show people that there is another way. But you have to tell your story. Express it, guys, okay? It's not about taking other people's words and putting them in. No, it's about being authentic. And then that way you do catch the right people because they feel you being authentic. You are who you are. It says the sunken cradle going with the flow, okay? Going with the flow may sound idyllic, but actually it is what is required of you right now. You do not need to take immediate action or do anything in particular. Just allow things to flow along as they are. You may have recently gone through emotional changes and likely to have experienced many emotions such as sadness, anger, frustration. But now you are coming out on the other side, beginning to feel more like your old self. Just allow yourself to be who you need to be at this time. This is a card of slow pace, so accept this. There is no actions to take. Just be kind to yourself and allow the healing process to work. 